responded, no, I won. This cell phone video captures a Trump supporter in high school in Woodside, California, being attacked by another student. She said, if you support Trump, you hate my speech. And at the prestigious University of Pennsylvania, university officials say an investigation is now underway into how a group of black freshmen were added to a racist group account that included racially offensive content, such as posting images of lynchings. As teachers began to ask ourselves, has there ever been a more teachable moment? So many schools sending out letters trying to calm their communities. One superintendent wrote, while we cannot control what happens at a national level, we can create a culture in our schools that is respectful and supportive. David. Thank you, David. Hey, I just wanted to let y'all know that all the violence in schools, you know, is really not necessary. We need to fight the right way. We don't need to fight in fear and violence and hate. You know, I didn't agree with most of the stuff that Donald Trump uh, said and did. Uh, but I have to accept the fact as a Democrat that he's our elect president and the election is over like Bernie Sanders said. Uh, and we got to live our lives. We got to move on. We got to stop all this hate, black and white, Mexican, whatever. Uh, we got to uh, try to uh, try to reunite and we got to get our party back. And it's going to take some years and years to do that. Uh, I want to respond to this video that y'all uh, seen. Uh, black students attacking uh, white students because they support Donald Trump. Uh, that's unacceptable, and these uh, students should be uh, expelled from school, and even though I don't agree that Donald Trump won, even though I think the system was rigged, and Donald Trump was right, the system was rigged. Just like Bernie Sanders said before the primaries was over, that the system was rigged. The system has always been rigged. The Republican system, the Democratic system, there is no other system that's rigged out there except these two parties, the Blue Party and the Red Party. Uh, and Hillary Clinton should have won. Period. Uh, but I do know that we just have to forget about all of this and not make the same mistakes that we made in, in 2016. And when another election comes around, we need to make sure that we not only protest, but we also... Uh, vote, because a lot of people didn't even want to vote. A lot of black millenniums did not go out there and vote. And if they would have done that, if if Donald, if uh, Hillary Clinton would have got the majority of the vote, then she would have won, and she was supposed to win, period. I don't care what nobody say on her, she was supposed to win. But that's besides the point. Uh, so, uh, if y'all want to spread hate, y'all want to spread violence, then that's not going to get you nowhere. That's just going to mess up your life. And don't destroy this country because of one man got elected that y'all didn't like. And that I, you know, disagree with highly. But who knows what kind of President Donald Trump would be. Who knows what kind of President Hillary Clinton would have been 
and she would have got elected. You know, we don't know. You know, but we do know that Donald Trump would be the worst president ever because if Donald Trump, uh, if he uh, does the same thing that he did when he was campaigning, this country is in big trouble. If you don't believe me, just watch. Just watch. And y'all better held his feet to the fire and don't be saying that he's a great president after four years or eight years when he didn't did a lot of dirt and y'all need to not only held the Democrats accountable, y'all need to held the Republicans accountable as well. They are a part of the establishment just as much as the Democrats. Uh, so, what's next is might all shock us, shock us, because we don't know what's going to happen. All we can do is pray and hope for the best. All we can do is hope that he's not as bad, you know, and hope that the next four years we don't make the same mistakes that we did this year and just remember this video be positive be respectful and stay out of trouble and live your life work hard uh, nothing is going to change the fact that Donald Trump is our next president of the United States. Violence and being hateful, no money is going to really change that, you know, because the Republican Party did not do anything to get Donald Trump, uh, to stop Donald Trump. They didn't even want to stop Donald Trump because they didn't have no choice but to support Donald Trump. That's just like the Democrats. The Democrats did not have no choice but to support Hillary Clinton. A lot of the Democrats that didn't vote, that made the difference to Donald Trump. That helped Donald Trump. Uh, we need to do a lot better in our political system. We can't do nothing about it now. And I know a lot of Trump supporters are happy that Donald Trump came elected. But don't come back complaining saying that Donald Trump didn't do nothing. And he didn't promise what he said when he was campaigning. Don't not be surprised because... Politicians, they lie all the time. And of course, Donald Trump wasn't your everyday politician, but now he is a politician. So who knows what he's going to do? But I would not be surprised if he starts World War III, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's another Kennedy, Kennedy and because who knows? Yeah, who knows? But uh, I'm going to let y'all go. Be sure to like and subscribe. And watch my video, my recent videos. And I will catch